Okay, John chapter 17, and Jesus is now going to pray for his disciples, and this sort of is the culmination of everything starting way back in John chapter 13, all these teachings about love and bearing fruit and the Holy Spirit and all that stuff. And so he says, it says this, after saying all these things, Jesus looked up to heaven and he said, Father, the hour has come, glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. And don't forget what glorify means. It just means reveal him. Let let him... Allow him to be known to the world. And remember what we started John with is the, the, the first and most basic question is, who is Jesus? And so what, what Jesus is now praying is he's saying, let everybody know the answer to that question. That's what glorify means. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. And so then he says this, he's, he's praying for his disciples. He says, and this is the way to have eternal life, to know you the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the one you sent to the earth. And this really is true. The most important question is, who is Jesus? Do I know Jesus? Make sure for you, as you're reading through the Bible, you're always asking and answering this question. Who is Jesus? Do I believe what the Bible says about Jesus? Because it's the most important thing you can believe, is your belief about Jesus. And then probably the next most important thing related to that is your belief about yourself. Who are you? And why do you need Jesus? Why are you broken? And why do you need Jesus as a Savior? And that's really what Jesus means when he's talking about having eternal life. Eternal life comes from knowing Jesus and knowing God, you know, and so and so you can learn more about that in Foundations if you need to. Now you can read this some more. This is really a powerful, wonderful prayer. Jesus is praying for his disciples. There's even a, a place in there where he's praying for his future disciples, which includes us, right, all these years later. But then he says this in verse 17, make them holy by your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth, just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. So there's that idea of mission. So there are some themes from John 13 to John 17. You can go back and read those if you need to, but themes of truth and, you know, God's word is truth. Um, the theme of love has been all over the place. The theme of mission has been in there, you know, that Jesus is sending his, his, uh, his people, his disciples into the world just as he was sent into the world. And, and so these themes are all there and the, probably the most uh, important theme is this theme of love. And we're going to see that again here at the bottom in, in verse 23. I am in them and you are in me. He's praying to the Father. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them as much as you love me. Okay, so this idea of love. So go ahead and read John chapter 17 and the prayer of Jesus for his disciples and we'll see you tomorrow.